Next up, we've got Oncidium Sweet Sugar. This is a very prolific bloomer. When I first bought this orchid, only this side was in full bloom and this spike was still quite green. All these flowers have subsequently opened in the last month. It's got a lovely sweet smell, as the name would imply, and of course it is a dancing lady orchid. I don't know if you can see the little dancing lady with her skirt and her two arms out. This orchid is very easy to care for. I must say I haven't had any problems with it. It was in a bark mix, so um, my climate is very dry, and as you can see, the pseudo bulbs have started to wrinkle a little bit, but the leaves haven't started to get that accordion shape you get when they're too dehydrated. So um, I've just put some New Zealand um, sphagnum moss on top to act as a sort of a mulch, and I'm upping the water regimen. I used to water my insidiums at the same intervals as I did my um, phalaenopsis, which is once a week. But I think that the Oncidiums are doing much better now with twice a week watering. Another one, um, this is actually a beautiful Nelly Isla Boon. The normal Nelly Isla is a bright red one. This is the Boon variety, which is a sort of a, a peach orange color. And it's got the same um, distribution of color, solid on the outside, these little stripes in the middle and dots all along the skirt. This is the last bloom. Um, it had quite a few flowers on when I initially got it, but it's doing much better now. Um, it lost almost all of them within a week, and this one managed to stay on the, on the plant. So I think it's, it's adjusted to my climate, and it's doing all right. The um, flower has also developed a new growth. You can see here in front of the old or the current pseudobulb, I've got a new growth. So I think I've got myself a very happy Nelly Isla. And right here is one of my favorites the former Colmenara Wildcat Oncidium. This is such a gorgeous, showy orchid and really easy to care for. On this orchid, I counted 34 open blooms. I mean, what a knockout. And this towering spike is just such a showstopper. This makes it look like you are an expert at orchid growing, but it's really recommended for the beginners because it's such an easy to care for orchid. I really love this one. Um, the flowers have been open for quite some time. They don't show any sign of fading. I think there's one last one that is still sort of going to open. I don't remember on which side it is. Was it this one? The top hasn't quite opened, but um, the rest of them are fully open. I do have a video on how to grow these wildcat oncidiums. Um, my other wildcat oncidium is the jungle monarch that is now completely out of flower, but I did notice a new growth off one of the pseudobulbs. Okay, and that is it for my flowering orchids, and I've got two oncidiums currently in spike. This one is a former oncidium or um, former odontoglossum. I think it's been classed as an oncidium now. Um, this is odontoglossum sturbic. It came with one flower in bloom, and that flower lasted about a week, and then I noticed about two weeks after I got this orchid, a tiny little nubbin forming, and now we've got a beautiful flower spike that's starting. This one is also a very hungry orchid. It needs a lot of water. I was away from home for about a week, and look what happened to my pseudobulbs. This is quite a horror show for me, and it only has two pseudobulbs. I'm really trying my best to get these to plunk back up. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but um, the orchid is flowering, so I think it's doing all right. Lastly, I've got Oncidium Twinkle. This one has been in spike, 
I bought it in Spike on the 16th of um, December and we are now around the middle of January and it has not opened up yet. I'm getting quite impatient because Twinkle is one of these orchids that I've wanted for quite some time ever since I got into the orchid hobby and I read up about it. It's a fragrant orchid. It makes this mass of small um, delicate flowers, just a huge mass of flowers that are all individually tiny and they're fragrant. So I've been really looking forward to watching this one bloom, but it is taking its sweet time to actually come into bloom. So we will see what she does. I hope by the time I make another Oncidium update video that this one will be open. All right, thank you so much for watching. This has been Lala with therainqueen.com giving you an update on my Oncidiums. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more orchid and plant videos. Until next time, bye bye.